Today we're going to have a look at the Continuum Exodus Nitrix. It comes in four different sizes. You have the one litre container, the two litre container, and then you have the plate, and you also have a brick form. So to give you an idea of the plate size, that's a 30 centimetre ruler, and the brick size, and there are decent thickness. So the way that the nitrix works is that it works on denitrification. So the difference where most medias work generally works on nitrification. So nitrification is a process of going from ammonia to nitrite to nitrate and that works in high oxygen areas to perform nitrification. It's a way we generally start up tanks and this can take a little while to do but we're talking here on denitrification. So denitrification, for it to work, you need it in low flow areas. Low flow areas, that way there's not as much water passing through it, you don't have the same sort of oxygen levels, and the way that, the, that it works is that you have a very, very porous media. The porous media is doped with sulphur, and the sulphur works as a electron donor for anaerobic bacteria. So anaerobic bacteria, that's ones that have low levels of oxygen and that helps for the denitrification. So with denitrification you don't have the end up result of nitrate that you generally do with nitrification. So this is a good way of eliminating nitrate from your water. Now you can do this by putting it in a very low flow area and it will build it up and it does take a while to do it. So where we worked with originally starting up a tank with nitrification, denitrification takes a lot longer. But we've found ways that you can actually speed that up to give it a kick start. So Continuum have suggested that if you want to give this a really good kick start, the best thing to do is to get the media give it a thorough rinse, especially for marine. If you've got marine, you really want to give it a really good rinse and then you can seed it. So the way that you would seed it is you'd get a bucket, you would have whichever one that you decide to get, whether it be the one litre, two litre, the plate or the brick, and you'd have it submerged in the water. Now the water needs to be like your aquarium water or you want reverse osmosis water but you don't want anything that's going to have chlorum, chlorine or chloramines or anything like that. So you have a bucket, place it in the bucket, add the water, and then you can add bacteria. So the ones that Continuum suggests to use is either for fresh water or for marine. If you're having a fresh water system and you want to use the back to clean F or the back to gen F. If you have a marine tank for seeding you use back to gen MD, back to gen M or back to clean M and these will help with the seeding so when you're seeding the media you want the media submerged in water you want the you want to be adding the bacteria and the bacteria that you should be adding it should be dosed to the level of what your tank is so if you've got a 600 litre tank that's the amount that you're dosing in the bucket and it remains in the bucket for 24 hours you want to stir it so that it actually flows through all the media and then you have your item seeded once it's seeded that's when you add it to your aquarium and again you want this in a really low flow area so that it can perform the denitrification with the anaerobic bacteria. So just keep it in an area that's really low flow. In a matter of maintaining the bacteria, a good way of doing that is again suggested by Continuum to add a carbon source. So for a carbon source, that's where you can use either for fresh water, the flora viv prolifera or for the marine for adding a carbon source would be the microfuel. 
So this is one way of doing denitrification, helping to reduce your nitrates and it's brought to you by Continuum. If you have any issues or any questions just put them down below. Also up in the top right hand corner you'll see an eye icon. If you click on that you'll be taken to our website where you'll see more information. Thank you.